It's Monday afternoon, people. And guess what? I don't have to work today. 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 I don't know why. It's Canada Day. It's a holiday. And I opted not to work it. Why? Because the company I work for screwed up. Remember when I worked that Saturday and Sunday? Well, they only paid me for the Saturday and they forgot to pay me for the Sunday. So because of that, that means my next paycheck is going to have eight hours of overtime. And if I did work it, then I would have had 16 hours of overtime. And the way the company works is because of the pay bracket I'm currently in, if I had 16 hours of overtime, I I wouldn't make as much money as I would while well, I'd make more money than I would with eight hours. Let's say I work eight hours of overtime, that's an extra 200 bucks on my check. If I work 16 hours of overtime, that's an extra $250 on my paycheck. Is working another day worth 50 bucks? Not to this guy. So that's why I said no and I didn't have to work it. So I got a day off. So three day weekend. Yeah, buddy. Right now I'm just pouring me a cup of coffee because I freaking need that. And uh, yeah, I did something pretty cool last night with coffee and uh, I'll show you that later on. But first, welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to try and dick around with that white tractor. I'd like to simplify it like I said on yesterday's vlog. Put a toggle switch for the coil and a push button for the start. But the problem is I don't have a push button or a toggle switch around the house. I should have some because I used to buy that shit all the time back in the day because I used to dick around with electronics and build stupid things. But honestly, I don't know where they are. So I'm probably going to try and... Uh, where is that friggin'... I had an old... Not a voltmeter, but a multimeter. And it had continuity on it. So I'm going to test out that ignition switch. Rex told me it works because he had it on a tractor, on a Craftsman, that he used it on and he said it worked fine. So I need to find that thing. So I want to test it and make sure it all works. And then I want to test the wires and make sure the wires have continuity too. And that will be awesome if they do because for all I know the issue could be the starting solenoid if it is I could always just you know do the old screwdriver across the two post things short them out and friggin fire a, fire a spark right into the starter and get her to spin and then figure out how the hell I'm gonna mount the gas tank and go from there and yeah we'll get that thing try and get that thing start well we can't get it well we'd have to get gas to get it started because I'm out of gas right now for all my mowers and stuff I'd like to try and get that thing going today because that would be freaking awesome and uh, then I'd have a romper and I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, once I get it running, I need to go and get some belts for it. And then I need to get it up in the air and take a bunch of the uh, the brackets off the bottom, the old brackets that held the deck in place. Take the handle off for the deck and all that. Because that's just flopping around like a flounder. We don't need that. We don't need that. And then uh, probably next weekend, I plan on taking it up the hill. Or at least in the backwoods and, and, and uh, dicking around with it. So that'd be kind of fun. But right now, <sighs> it's one tire fire. So like it's like... If one tire breaks, that's it. You got no traction. It's not a locked rear diff. Uh, some people told me I should just weld the rear differential, but I've never done that, so I don't know where I should put the welds to. That and you see me weld, it's not the best. But worst case in Ontario is I can look up how to weld it, what parts you're supposed to weld, and then once I figure out how to weld, I can just, you know, throw the goop to it and we're done. You know? But I need to find that freaking oh no, no, that was a fart. I need to find my multimeter and then uh, we're good to go. And right now I just want to drink my coffee and see what's going on on YouTubes. And I'm gonna do that now and then we're gonna head up to the garage. So let's pitter patter and have at her. So obviously you guys heard that both me and uh, freaking One Bubba Mike One are doing a friendly little weight loss challenge thingamajig. So I went and weighed myself and I came in at 262 pounds and I found this thing, which you're probably wondering what the hell it is, it's basically a uh, body fat analyzer by all you do is you grab the handles here and then uh, the, the little screen thing comes up and tells you like you got to punch in your information like how, how heavy you are and all that and your age and you, your, your gender and all that and then it'll tell you how fat you are and what your body mass index is and then I found this here on uh, Muscle Hack. It's a way to find out what your resting body, uh, well your resting calorie intake is and for me, it came up to this, so my re every day my body will use, if I'm doing nothing like just sitting in this office chair day in day out, my body spends 3,286 calories. Well, what they suggest is, is every day take in 500 calories less than what you're, you're using. So for 3,286, I need to take in 2,786 calories, or at least 2,700 calories a day, and theoretically in one week, I could lose a pound of fat. This article they have printed up is, 
freaking amazing. It explains a lot of shit that uh, to me makes a lot of sense. So, you know, they say one pound of fat is about a thousand calories. So basically, if that's a thousand calories, then if you or wait one second, I got that wrong here. I got that wrong. Where did that go? I'm sure I got that wrong. Uh, I read that really wrong because that didn't make sense. There was a picture on, oh, here it is, how to lose fat. Um, uh, where'd that go? Yeah, sorry. Um, there's 3,500 calories in one pound of fat. So what they said was, if you under eat 500 calories a day, your body will basically go into a deficit of calories, and in seven days, you'll burn off 3,500 calories, because now your body's got to use stuff inside your body to power your body. Does that make sense? So it's basically gonna burn fat to allow your body to lose fat. Like, I'm not trying to do a weight loss here, I'm trying to do a get rid of my freaking gut. Obviously drinking all that beer isn't helping, but what the hell, I like beer. But <laughs> uh, basically I gotta get my calories below, like 500 points below to maintain a deficit. And that will cause my body to shed weight. So every week I could lose one pound, which to me would be awesome because if you think about it, in two months that's eight pounds gone of fat. And that would be awesome. So that's what I'm trying to do. Whether or not I'm doing it right, that's another story. But um, like my belt, I drilled that hole out uh, back in April and the belt's already useless. I need to drill another hole, but I'm thinking about just saying frigate going to Wally World and buying a new belt. Because if I drill another hole in this thing, I'm going to have this like strap hanging off my waist that's way out there, you know? But uh, I really need to get rid of the bedent. That about slack. Got to get rid of it. And uh, so now that I know my numbers, that I got to eat 2,700 calories, what I might do is start keeping an eye on my portion controls because uh, this beautiful little phone here comes with a calorie counter. Let me show you that. This is for awesome like this thing's totally stocked locked and ready to rock um where did i see you is that under s health it might be under s health i can't remember um yeah under s health this nifty little program here it has calories burnt and calories intake now i'm not sure i, I think there's a way i can set this let me uh, let me, uh apparently i already did apparently i already did um let me dick around with this for a bit. I downloaded a copy of Magic's Movie Edit and Magic's Movie Music Maker from the site, eh? Because they had a real good deal a while back. It was 70% off. So I bought Magic's uh, uh, Movie Edit Pro 2013 and Magic's uh, Music Maker 2013 because I wanted them and they're on sale for 66% off or some shit like that and it was like a real good deal I got them both for like 60 bucks so I was like holy shit yeah I want those those are the new ones they're faster they have you no know, 64 bit hardware decoding supporting ATI and Nvidia not just like Nvidia and uh, I lost my CD key and I was panicking I didn't know how to get it back and then I found out all I needed to do is go to Magic's login with my Magic's ID and password and all the information was there every product I bought including Magic's 15 and Magic's 17 with the movie at a pro. I was like, holy shit, I can just download them from here, install them, and my CD keys are on file. I freaking love that. Sometimes DRM is a good thing. Sometimes, but other times it sucks. But the fact that they have that on file with my account made it super easy because I was all worried because I might have to format the other Dell there because she's acting like a piece of shit. And I'm thinking about uh, making a recovery disk and then reformatting it, getting it back up to par. <coughs> But um, it would suck if I had to reinstall this program because I like editing in Magix. The only time it sucks is when I'm doing a car driving scene, but um, other than that, it's great. It's, it's perfect. Just sitting here looking for my friggin' uh, my uh, multimeter, and uh, don't, don't I look now like a guy who should be driving a Trans Am? Don't, don't, I, don't I look like a guy who should be driving a Trans Am? Maybe? I'm just finding a bunch of cool shit in here, like stuff I'm gonna need, like, you know, this wiring, I might I might need that, and this, probably saying what the hell is that? Well, it's a friggin' bullet, but it's also a lighter, a little jet lighter. That is cool, I thought I lost this. Nice, let's see what else I can dig up from this treasure chest of awesome. Well, this is totally awesome. I just found a Windows 7 DVD. This is the Dell XPS 7 DVD. The XPS 9000, back when Dell was cool and they would send out DVDs with their computer. But this is just a generic install of Windows 7. After you install this, then you gotta drop the other disk in, which is drivers and bloatware, and then it installs all your drivers and bloatware. Or you could say, screw that noise, get the computer operational, hope the internet card works and you can get on the internet, and then just go and download the drivers off of Dell and not have the bloatware. That's freaking awesome. This DVD is a keeper. 
Oh, I found one of my Ching Chong tablets, the iRobot. It's not firing up though, it probably needs power. But I highly doubt I have the power supply for it. I'm pretty sure it's this guy here. And of course, there is no markings telling me what the voltage is. So, no, my luck, I would throw voltage to it and pop it like a zit. So, whatever. Well, maybe we'll do target practice with it or something. I don't know. Anyway, I just put on some socks. I'm going to head out to that garage and get shit did. Gonna let the dog outside for a quick potty before I go because he can't be out there when I'm out there because he likes to lick things off the ground. And I don't need him getting sick. So, dude, tries to walk like right on me, gets kicked. Freaking dog, so dicked. So let's let him out for a potty and then we will get in that garage and try and figure out that mower. I don't have my phone on me. I'm gonna need my phone. And I kind of want a beard. So I'm gonna grab a beard. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. Friggin' love this old stereo. It's got the SD card and the USB reader. And I uh, found this old SD card in the house. Just a little two gigger. Threw a bunch of music on it so I can have some tunes out here. Pop her in, kick her over, and it reads it, and it'll play it. Nice. Alrighty, so this is the engine here. It's a really old engine. <laughs> the Briggs and Stratton 8.5 horse. Um, I'm thinking, like, here's the coil wire going to the spark plug, right? So I'm thinking I need to take this guy right off. Now there's supposed to be a wire coming out of here somewhere and it comes back up to this wire harness here which is up here and goes into the key ignition switch guy which is back here. Right? Now we gotta try and find out which wire it is. So let's take this cover right off. I believe this is covered here. Should do her. Take these bolts out. Looks like uh, there's a bolt back here. This looks like my carb air filter, all that shit. So yeah, let's take that, uh, load that cover off and we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't grenade. So I've gone ahead and taken the cover off the engine. Surprise, surprise, I found somebody's house. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to uh, clear all this shit out and then, uh, yeah, go from there, I guess. Wow, this is just, this is a mess. I wonder if my vacuum could suck that out of there. I'm gonna pick it out. I might want to get my compressed air and give her a blast, but I'm not seeing anywhere where a wire could possibly be attached in there. I see the main line coming off the guy going to the spark plug, but I don't see that coil wire that I saw that. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? What is this? Where are you going? You're different. Where are you going? You are coming down here, going into here, so that's the yellow wire, which loops into here, and comes up to here, which goes into, so that's all, well, fuck, that's not even hooked up to anything. That yellow wire is not even hooked up to anything. Huh, we got a little bit more digging to do, so let's get digging. Logie, you forgot to tell me to watch my shit and I hurt my finger. Ouch. Just a little bit. Ouch. I forgot to tell me to watch my shit. Alrighty, well I did a little bit more here. Uh, where'd that coil go? There it is. Originally this coil on the actual feed for the uh, the starter here, I took the wire off, but this red wire was hooked up to the coil. It was wrapped around this guy here, and I followed this red wire back, and it just, dis it actually comes up here, sorry, it comes up here, goes over to here, and I don't know where the hell it goes from there. It goes into this control module for the key. Why? Oh no, it doesn't. It goes up here into this friggin' amp meter. Who cares about the amp meter? I don't know, that just didn't seem right to have it there. It was on the wrong side of the freaking uh, starter solenoid. Because once the solenoid is disengaged, like once you roll the key over to, all, to start, and you start it, once you disengage it, Theoretically, that solenoid should turn off and there should be no more voltage going through there because all that does is cranks the starter. So why would they put that on that side? I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Unless this sends voltage back through, maybe this thing, no, because this thing comes up when it engages, grabs that flywheel and just friggin' spins the snot out of it. So this here does not generate electricity that way, so I'm going to have to follow this red wire back and see where the frigate goes and how the hell they expected, I don't know. This is going to take some thinking. It's going to take some work to figure out, that's for sure. Oh well, 
Well, Rex is gonna, he's at work right now. He works till 8.30 tonight, and then he's gonna come over afterwards, and we're gonna try and see what we can figure out with this pile and get her going. But uh, for now, I'm gonna fire up the queue, cook me a steak and some potatoes. I'm thinking for today, what I might do is cook the potatoes on the side burner. That might be friggin' awesome. Just saying. Alrighty, let's fire up the barbecue. I put a dry rub on them this time to see if they give it more flavor. I'm, I'm hoping yes. So, put my utensils there. We'll crank over the propane. I shut the propane off after every use. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do. It doesn't matter, I guess. Open her up. And we got fire. So we'll let the grill heat up. And we'll take our little brushy thing to it, clean off the grill top. And I'm having me a nice, delicious Baileys and coffee cubes. Oh, you're probably wondering, what are these coffee cube things? Well, here's a little video for you. So I saw this idea. I decided I'm gonna do it. Basically what we're making is coffee cubes. Probably wondering yourself, Adam, what the frig is a coffee cube? Basically, it's an ice cube made of coffee. Why would you want that? You'll see. First we need to make the coffee cube. So I figured the best way to measure how much water we need for the coffee machine is to actually fill the ice cube thingy with water. Then we'll dump it into our coffee pot and let her give her. Let's go for it. Apparently, we need barely three cups. Perfect. Next, we need to get some coffee into this bitch. Let's do that. Alrighty, coffee's in. Make sure the filters, these filters don't quite fit this pot that well, but whatevs. And of course, for the coffee of choice, we're rocking the Hortons, because it's friggin' awesome. So, yeah, buddy. Always get damn, damn Hortons and things. So we'll slam the lid, kick it over, and let that son bitch brew. And once she's brewed, then the next step. I don't think the pot has the same measurements as the guy on the side, but whatever. Let's try and pour this into the ice cube tray without making a freaking mess. Okay, we managed to get the coffee into the tray. Now all we need to do is toss it in the freezer and wait for it to freeze and we have coffee cubes. Probably wondering what you use those for. You'll see. You'll see. Some people like to put Baileys in their coffee. I like to put coffee in my Baileys. Just like drinking a nice coffee. It's freaking awesome. The grill's all clean, so let's get the uh, the juicy, succulent son of a bitch onto it here. Oh yeah. Let's make a steak. You know it's the good life when you're rocking out to some freaking tragically hip on your stereo, cooking up yourself a nice juicy steak on the Barbie. Actually, I'm gonna leave that lid open because the thermometer's pinned and you're having yourself a freaking coffee cube drink. Hell yeah, people. It's a good life. Quite possibly the best thing I've ever made, these coffee cubes and this friggin' Baileys. It's friggin' delicious, people. I'm telling you, you should give her a go. But uh, right now I got a brand new Invench. Using my tongs to hold the barbecue slightly open so she doesn't pin the friggin' thermometer. I wanna get this steak nice and cooked right through. Yesterday's was pretty good, but today's I want it to be better. Cause I put dry rub on it, you know, more flavor. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm all done barbecuing here. Got our juicy freaking steak all freaking seasoned and shit. Just gonna go ahead and kill the throttle on this propane tank. Make sure she shut off. I wish there was a meter on these things so you can know how much juice you have left. She's pretty heavy, so it's gotta be at least a little bit in there. I'm really enjoying this barbecuing, people. I didn't think I would like it this much, but I really do. I really do. I'm gonna have to buy some birds and stuff that I can really cook the shit out of on this thing. Maybe get some chicken or something. I don't know. But I really, really do like barbecuing now. It's super fun. I was gonna do the mashed potatoes on the barbecue. I forgot to tell you guys this, but I decided not to because I wasn't sure if my pot would explode or get wrecked on there because I don't know if they're barbecue safe pots. Um or gas powered pots or whatever. I wasn't sure if the element would wreck them. So I decided I'd say frigate and I would just do the smash mash now and do the gravy same times and it'll be awesome. So let's get rolling on that. Holy shit, easy on the zoom there bud. Well there's my dinner. Gravy did this like, I don't know, like coagulated and shit on the fly, pretty dick. Threw some on the green beans because I forgot to season them. Steak, potatoes, green beans, same as last night. Steak's a little different because I dry rubbed it. But um, just topped up my coffee drink here. Gonna head upstairs. Stairs, eat this, watch Rex 4x4's YouTube video, and then we're gonna head back out to the garage and dick around with that shit. So let's pitter patter and have at her. Alrighty, people, I already just ate my supper. It was friggin' awesome. 
Belly's nice and happy, not feeling dizzy anymore, so I guess I needed some food in me. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Just drop some food into me, I'm good to go. Well, now I'm going to head back out to the garage, but uh, first I want to mention that I just finished watching Crazy British Blokes, Trailer Park Boys, Horses Ass video. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Friggin' hilarious. It's probably one of the coolest edits he's ever done, so uh, I like like knowing that he's getting the hang of that Magic's movie edit pro. Friggin' hilarious video. You're going to love it when you see it, so by all means, check that shit out. And um, as for us, we're going to head our asses back out to the garage. I'm going to test the starter, make sure it engages. I'm just going to basically run direct power to it and ground it out and um, see if she fires over. So let's get out there and start dicking around with things and see what happens. Let's do this. I was sitting there wondering why Magix didn't have all the friggin' fade effects and shit that my Magix 15 and 17 had. You have to manually download them for free from the site. I didn't know that. So I'll let that thing do its thing, and uh, cause there ain't no thing like a chicken wing. And I'm gonna go downstairs, let's scruff you up for a shit, and uh, quite possibly top off my drink. So grab my dishes, and uh, I'm gonna go top off my drink, and then we're gonna head her back out to the garage and dick around with that mower some more. And Rex will be over probably within uh, half an hour hour to an hour. He's done this before so having his eyes on it because there's some stuff that's just not right that's throwing me off. So having his eyes on it too might help a little bit and then we can figure this out together. And if we can at least get it to crank tonight then we're golden. But okay seriously remember when I told you I ran over the neighbor's hose with the lawnmower? Do you see it? Oreo's new toy? Do you see it? It's got a smiley face on it. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be really smiling much. Where'd he go? Oh great. When, when this guy gets it, hey? There's a toy out for you there. There's a toy out in the yard for you, bud. Why do you keep headbutting my junk? Don't do that! Disturbing little fuckball. You're so cute. You're so cute. Look at him. He's like part kangaroo, part puppy. All happy. He's nuts. All right, let's top off that drink. Mmm. Friggin' Bailey's is like 13%. It's like drinking two beers at once. I'll just let Scruffy out there. Let him go for a piss. He can't be out while I'm working on the mower, so. Let him out now, let him do his thing. Then we'll get out there and we'll try some stuff. Come on, Oreo, go pee. Alrighty, we got the negative wire attached to the battery. Probably not properly. That bolt's a little ridiculous, but we're gonna go ahead, take the starter wire here. That doesn't quite reach. Big sakes. I need a tripod. Okay, now we got a tripod. Let's get electrocuted. I'm gonna take my phone off my belt in case I do. I don't wanna kill my phone. I'd rather just kill myself. Let's see if the starter spins. Let me get it on the, like really? Is this wire gotta be that short? I need a piece of extension. What the hell am I gonna use? I don't know. Maybe I can take the battery out of here. No, because the ground wire's too short. Touch it. Huh. Is my ground shit? You know, maybe my ground might be shit. Let me check the ground there. I would say that this thing has a lot of white death on it, and so does that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the contacts, and we'll give her. Okay, hopefully you can see this. The starter does work when I can get good connection with it. So the starter does work. You just gotta figure out what the frig's going on. So let's uh, dick around some more people. Not sure if the camera picked it up there, but friggin' arcs were arcing back into my hand. I friggin' hate that. I hate playing with electricity because I always get cooked. Feeling pretty friggin' weird right now. It's awesome. <laughs> huh. All right, well, Rex is on his way over soon there. So we distinguish that the starter does work. The motor will spin with the starter. Sounds like it's trying to start, but obviously there's no fuel tanks. So there's nothing for it to go. I haven't even checked the carb yet. Carb could be full of friggin' hamster food for all I know. We'll have to take a look. Right now, I just want to get the starter mechanism out actually doing what it's supposed to do which is you know somewhat start the tractor but uh, we got a good ground on it now so we'll hook up a lead well we'll get the rest of this wiring my nightmare figured out luckily I got that big ball of wire there worst case in Ontario we need to friggin wire up a little cadaver we'll uh, wire up a little cadaver we'll get the friggin thing straightened out and figured out and chat oh that hurt <laughs> Freak sakes. Got a little more progress here. I took that uh, bolt, that uh, thing, this thing right off just to find out that, yep, that there is the wire, but it's not really attached. It needs a goob of solder. Yeah. Either that or I should just crimp one of my guys on there and slide it over the thingamajig and then call it quits. Which is probably what I'm going to do because that, my friends, is not a proper electronic contact. That is how shit sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. So I got a box of like fittings and things back here for electronic wires and slip overs and all that shit. Just gotta remember what drawer it's in. <coughs> oh, it's in here somewhere. There we go. 
So I got this kit and I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna put a proper fitting on that wire and that way there we can, uh, it'll be on there good. It won't slip off. So we'll find the right one for it. We'll tack it on and Bob will be our uncle for a day. All right, people, well, Rex 4x4 is here. Rex 4x4, he showed up while I was in the house dropping a big fancy deuce. <laughs> and um, we've come to the conclusion that we're going to simplify the living snot out of this. Obviously, I don't have any toggle switches or push buttons. Well, I might, I gotta go hunt for them. But uh, for the time being, we'll do the old fashioned. Adam gets electrocuted while starting his mower. It'll be freaking awesome. So let's uh, get cracking on this. There, doesn't that look more pro than what it was before? Just a little bit, just a little bit. So, gone ahead and taken all the wires out of here. We've, uh, so far we simplified it. Oh, no, big time. You got this guy, which we might try to hook up to your lights. Oh, we don't need headlights. Those are sissies. The, uh, the kill tool in here. If I need a headlight, I'll just drive with a mag light. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. You're probably thinking in your mind, like, Adam, you're an idiot. But not a big deal. Oh, a long time ago. Oh, see what I put up with people? Just saying. <laughs> but uh, it's coming along. It's coming along. We'll figure this out. The only thing we're missing is toggle switches. And I'm going to check on my toolbox and my spare junk and see if I can find some because you never know what you can find in those cigarette cans behind me. Just saying. Alrighty, people. This thing's as dumbed down as it possibly gets. <laughs> so this is tight. So we just need to get your switches. Uh, yeah. So this should work. So give her. You ready? Yep. Get the camera on. Oh, you okay? Okay. Nice. All right. So now we need fuel. So, so we got the new line. Yeah, we ran a new fuel line here because the old one was just rotten. That carburetor is probably uh, right full of shit. But yeah. Let's take a look oh. inside the carb. Did you fart or is that the freaking machine? That's probably the machine. Holy shit. No, if I, didn't, if I farted, I don't up to it. it. Smells like an old woman and an old man freaking just like giving her after having baked beans. Oh, gross. Okay. Well, we almost got her done. Want to beat you to it? Beat me to it? Beat me to it. Today, oh, for freak's sakes. But, uh, uh, so we'll here with it. Oh. Oh, oh, you dirty whore. Huh. So there, you fucker. Do it. <laughs> Wash up mine. Are we done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So basically it's all wired up, ready to rock. We had a little bit of a fire, but uh, we decided not to give a shit about it. Fire. And um, well, there's some smoke. Right, was it? Friggin' nest of shit you didn't feel. Well, yeah, I cleaned most of it out. Yeah, I, I just didn't give a shit. And you didn't friggin' blow it. Let out. it burn. It'll be awesome. It'll be fun for a show. Maybe this thing will catch fire, and then I can just scrap it. Topped up the oil. Rex hooked up the fuel tank with a zip tie set up. Fuel lines already in. Problem is, I have no gas. I don't feel like pulling it out of any other device I have here because I'm lazy like that. But it spins. It'll probably start. Carb was checked. Looks all right. Probably a little dicked, but who cares? <laughs> Carb was checked my ass. That's it. We looked at it. Yeah, we looked at it and went, yup. Yeah, yeah, it's dirty. <laughs> it, it's, dude, she will fire. I have oh, faith. Well, probably, but you know. Probably, probably not. It, it was visually checked. It was, yeah, it wasn't an optimal checking, but um, kind of, sort of, maybe not. Whatever, who cares. But, um, yup, yup. So what I'm going to do is buy, well, i got to refill my jerry can with gas, and then I'm going to buy the switch for the kill guy, which is this wire down here. Kill switch and the starter. And the, yeah, the starter push button. And then clean all that wiring up. So basically there's a wire that, that uh, Rex stuffed over here, that guy with the black thing on it. So that sticks on this little screw guy here. And I'm gonna run that to the switch, which will be sitting where the keyhole was. And then this here was the old kill switch. What I plan on doing with this is beating the crap out of it with my pry bar and busting it off because it's not coming off. And then uh, putting a toggle switch there to uh, kill it. So all in all, here's hoping that it actually works. Chances are it's probably gonna explode in my face and that'll make a great video, but my face will never look the same again. A lot of you might like that. Anyway, people, we're going to the Hortons to drink a lot of coffee and get really hyper so uh until then peace to forget Alrighty, well we just came back from coffee with our x4x4 and uh yeah i got a mission ahead of me number one need to get some more gasoline for my freaking mowers i really should buy a bigger jerry can because uh the one i have is just a little five gallon and that's enough to fill up like the uh, Dynamark alone. That's it. So <clears throat> one of these days I should buy a bigger Jerry and then I should probably also invest in um, something else that I can't think of right now because my brain. But I do got to buy more gasoline because I want to test out that mower tomorrow and see if it'll actually start because uh, that'd be awesome if it actually just starts up and runs. And then I got to buy some switches and some toggles and some other things and stuff and junk and gradually you know we'll have work in operation. One thing I know for sure is I need a shower because I I smell like a bag of smashed assholes right now. Frig yeah. So I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna go 
get rid of my equipment. I got like a phone on me and oh my friggin' knee is just right cocked. It doesn't bend the way it used to. That's for sure. For certainty. So yeah, we got a lot of progress on the white. It looks like it wants to start. Just needs some go juice and then it just might accidentally do so. So that's pretty friggin' awesome right there, I do say so. Right on, right on. Alrighty people, just had a shower, feeling friggin' awesome. I'm all cleaned up. I don't smell like motor oil anymore. I don't know why my shirt's tucked into my pants. I don't like that. Not my sleepy pants. But uh, yeah, feeling friggin' awesome right now. So tomorrow we're gonna get that shit for the, uh, or if not tomorrow, the next day, whatever. Get that shit for the, uh, I guess should price that out on CanadianTire.ca maybe. I could do that. But uh, we're gonna get that shit for the, uh, the white tractor. Once I'm sure it's up and running, I plan on doing a custom paint job to it. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do to it, but we're gonna give her. We're gonna do something crazy to it. I might leave the white on the front of it because there's a white kind of stuck out emblem of, uh, that says white, but the side stickers, I have some vlogging life stickers I'm probably gonna stab on there just cause, you know, that's kind of funny. But for right now, I got my last can of Canadian. I gotta use my middle finger to open it because this finger's ouch, like ouch. Like look, it's all, it's all bruised and, and ouch and like, it's damaged. Got short circuited and smashed. It's just right dicked. So, I'm gonna drink this beer. <clears throat> By the looks of it, Crazy Logie's trying to chat with me on Skype. So I'm gonna hop on Skype and let him know that he forgot to tell me to watch my shit. And now my finger hurts. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna call it quits for tonight, people. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Hit the like button. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Hit the dislike button. I don't give a shit. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I try to respond, but sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So, you know, it's just the way it goes, people. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.